Hi everybody, good morning. This is Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for You. I hope you are having a lovely day. It is raining outside, but it's nice and warm actually. Um, hopefully the spring weather will be here soon. We've had a lovely winter, um, just a few snows, um, but it's nice that the, the days are getting a bit longer, it really is. Um, my this, this little short little video here is just an introduction to what I'm going to be doing next, hopefully for the next um, several tutorials, uh, the several videos that I have, <coughs> excuse me, in mind to make. Um, as I was saying on one of my last videos, a lot of people have commented about my little Dresden plate quilt here. I believe I actually did a tutorial on that many, many years ago, or uh, maybe not this one in particular, but one similar. I believe in like a holiday themed fabric, <clears throat> which I have quite a few of them around the home, hanging up or as table toppers or wherever they are. Um, this little quilt here is what the size is what I'm going to be concentrating on. Again, as I was saying in one of my previous videos, quite a lot of us um, don't have the time to embark on a huge, great big project and yet um, have a little bit of wall space or a little bit of a, a topper for a table to make a small quilt and not invest a tremendous amount of time, fabric or money into the project or into the process. Um, so what I am, I'm going to do, I am going to be embarking on this size or similar size wall hangings for the next little while. Um, they may be this square, they may be a little bit more vertical, but the whole point is to use up the fabrics that you might already have. Now, another beautiful thing about wall hangings is I'm not advocating cheap fabrics, uh, I'm not, but there's a lot of um, uh, school of thought that there's quilt shop uh, quality fabric as opposed to perhaps a bigger box store fabric, which is garbage. Well, I don't, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. However, um, perhaps for a wall hanging, you don't want to use your best, most expensive fabrics. That's all I'm saying. Um, I had gotten these two jelly rolls. Now they're not, they're not full jelly rolls. I believe there's only 20 strips or 21 strips in these lavender jelly rolls. And I do believe I got these at Joanne many, many, many years ago. I've had them sitting around. And even though I don't love the color lavender and purple, these are quite pretty. I bought them for some reason. And I thought I'm going to use my jelly rolls to make a scrappy looking cohesive Dresden plate with the checkerboard border here. I'm going to be emulating this exact quilt behind me. I am going to be making the large Dresden plate. Now, the one thing, I'm, again, this is just sort of a heads up, if you want to follow along with me, is you're going to be needing probably just a bunch of two and a half inch strips, whether it's a jelly roll or whether you cut them from your fat quarters or from your, uh, from your yardage, just a bunch of um, scrappy, if that's the look you like, or if it's from a, fa um, a fabric manufacturer line, then it's a little bit more cohesive but we're just going to be using two and a half inch strips. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because for this project, you are going to be needing a template, a ruler, um, a Dresden plate, large size template, okay? Quite a lot of you already have this. I'm trying to see, yeah, there it is. I'm trying to see in the, in the camera. This is a, um, it's called uh, from Easy Quilting Dresden. It's from www.simplicity.com. Uh, this is a Darlene Zimmerman. There are tons of different manufacturers that do a large Dresden. This is from one inch to eight inches. Okay, this little uh, template here. Now, as you can see, this has the squared off corner or at the top here, which when we make the Dresden, if you know the, the process, it ends up in a point. As you can see, I have my rounded top here. I'm going to show you how I did the rounded top. Now again, with this, with this uh, topper here, this little wall hanging, you are going to need, for my, the way I'm going to be doing it, 
you are going to be needing a machine which with a straight stitch probably your basic basic machine which also has either a zigzag or a blanket stitch that's all or if, if, it, if you have a more computerized machine, a more advanced, a lots of uh, decorative stitches. And I will be getting, I will be showing you. Now, I don't know if you can see on the, each corner of my background, I had um, done a free motion quilted stencil feather stitching. I'm going to probably be showing you two ways to either practice your free motion quilting, which is not a beginner task and or on a scrap piece of fabric to show you how I got that when we come to it or just a straight like a sunburst stitch coming out which all you will be needing again is your straight stitch machine I'm trying to tailor this little hanging here to a beginner very very simple beginner quilt without having to cut a million little pieces here we're going to be doing some strip strips sets and then sub cutting when we get to the border. Um, so you'll be needing some two and a half inch strips, your uh, template here. And then again, as you see this cream piece of fabric, just a cream piece of fabric, I don't know, perhaps uh, you would have maybe three quarters of a yard of fabric um, and then cut it down, half of that, um, to have this background here of, of whatever color you want. I might change mine up and have a, a different color as opposed to the cream or the white background, which is very basic here. This is a very basic little quilt here. I have uh, backed it and I have put a, oh, I put a hanging sleeve on it and I didn't hang it. <laughs> Why did I put, oh yeah, that's right. I put a hanging sleeve on it there. Actually, I'm gonna show you how to put a hanging sleeve on when we come to it and also how we're gonna hang our little to all sorts of different ways to hang a small quilt on your wall because you make your quilt and they're like wow well, in the world do I hang it without bolts and rods and everything so we'll come to that um, again just your template and some two and a half inch strips and a bit of background fabric and then of course when we get to the backing the batting and the binding it's not a lot of fabric and also when I um, continue to do my little tutorials here um, I'm going to be showing you like an applique but there's also the school of thought for a wall hanging that won't be washed or perhaps is seasonal um, just to use a, uh, a fusible web to, to, to applique with actually no sewing. So I'm going to be show. I mean, this is for a sewing quilting thing, but a lot of people just to have a seasonal, um, at, you know, a, a, an autumn theme with some leaves, you might not even want to um, stitch them on. That's totally acceptable for a little quilt that's going to be hung decoratively and never going to be washed. But again, I'll be addressing that and quite a few other things about our little wall hanging series here. So I hope you enjoy this first one. As I said, a lot of people have enjoyed this one, little one behind me, um, and I'll be changing it up, but we'll be making this of, of several tutorials to make your little wall hanging. And then I would love if, if anybody is following um, to send me a photograph of where you're going to hang or have hung your little Dresden plate in the future. Um, that would be nice. I'm going to end this now. Um, I do, I do, I'm going to put up a few pictures. We had the, um, uh, we had a little treat the other night. Our son Jordan, Heather was busy. He was our number three son, Jordan. He was taking his uh, three children out to like a hibachi place very very last minute and he called us up said you want to join us there and so we joined him in this it was a sweet little uh, treat to see the hibachi and the flames and the little show that put on um, that was very very last minute and we really enjoyed it so I'll put up a few pictures up that's our son Jordan and his three kids and um, Ian and I and Maxwell. It was lovely. All right, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much. Keep warm, keep dry. Oh my goodness, it is teeming outside. Wow, I'm looking out my window. All right, everybody, have a good day. Love from the tree. See ya.